going on y'all good morning we're starting another day off at the gas pump man we got to fill her up we might have to put a little in here top her off we're out here with Devin her father John and then our good friend Scott we're gonna go fishing uh, for some big old fish today we're gonna try and actually catch some of our own bait if that doesn't work out maybe we're just gonna go for some top water early morning we're driving up to Texoma we're gonna hit a little mixture of whatever wants to hit man whether it's large mouth striper small mouth we're just gonna have a bunch of fun take the boat out probably gonna be catching more striper than anything we brought a lot of shad style baits let's go ahead Ahead and get into today's fun. Oh, bad news, y'all. We made the hour plus drive and we forgot the boat key, so <laughs> I gotta run back to the house. We'll be back here and launch by hopefully 9 a.m. It's 7.15 in the morning. Everyone's looking real happy. <laughs> Let me run back up to the house. They're gonna keep an eye on the boat, maybe fish from the bank. There's a bait shop close by. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can't turn a negative into a positive and have a good old day launching a few hours late. Let me get back to the keys. I don't know how I do it, man. I always manage to screw something up. I should probably just give this boat away. On the bright side, I suppose at least we didn't drive to a lake two or three hours away. Makes you question why we even have it, man. It's like, shit, I could have woken up I could have hit an awesome top water bite at a pond, Devin and me. In two miles, keep right onto State Highway 289. I don't think I'm doing anything for a long time, Siri. Yeah, man, we could have woke up, hit an awesome top water bite, some local ponds. We could have had a video wrapped up by 9 o'clock in the morning, but instead, we're barely going to get out to the water, probably miss an optimal bite. And uh, that's how our day's going so far. Let's see if it doesn't turn around, though. Okay, got him. It's not until you can accept your faults your bullshit the keys that you can grow and do better words of wisdom from kevin hart man if you guys ain't listening to this joe rogan podcast with kevin hart this new one just released like last week you got to get on it i'm gonna put the uh, link to it in the description below keys in hand and we're gonna hit the ramp in about another 55 minutes hopefully we launch by 9 30. 23 minutes left in the podcast 23 minutes left in the drive <laughs> is the boat ready <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. John, how's it looking? Just want to point out everything today has been my fault up to this far. <laughs> Don't leave your keys at home, kids. Don't leave your keys at home. <laughs> and uh, you know, the bite's probably just picking up. When you get us close, I'm gonna go take the strap off, right? So don't take us all the way in. All right, y'all, we have pulled up on the first spot. About 33 feet is the depth. We're going to be working these rocks and kind of bringing our baits on and out and uh, dropping down some live as well that they picked up from the shop. What does it say here? 74 degree temps. Let's go ahead and get into it, man. They're pretty close to the surface, so... Okay, just throw it, just throw it over here. Okay. About 5, 10 feet. There goes the net. You pass them a little bit. Pull, pull, pull. Yep. Oh, oh, you're chasing them. You're chasing them. I think we just missed them. We might have got something, but I think we just missed them. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Okay, a little closer this time. They're not as far out as I uh, thought. Huh? Hold on. Right about there. About, about six, four to six feet. Four to six feet. Let's see what we got. Okay, let's see what we got. You, I think you passed them a little bit. Start cranking. Yep. You're almost down on the bottom now. You might be in this here. Okay, okay. <laughs> Look at that casting that come up here. That's funny. Uh -oh. There's one behind us. There's a, there's a couple behind us. I got one. All right. All one. right. All right. Oh, yeah. What I you got? One. What you got? Is this? What? It's a small it's a small mouth. mouth. It is. It's a small mouth. Your first ever small mouth. No way. The small this is. I've never caught a small mouth. This yeah. has been on my bucket list. <laughs> Guys, first ever smallmouth for me. Totally devoured the crankbait. I don't even care how small he is. This is the coolest little fish. It's really awesome to be able to bring in the first fish of the boat and for it to be a smallmouth. You know, if I would have remembered the keys, we probably wouldn't have got on that guy. He probably would have been out further or something. But since we caught you at the right time, I think the, the bite is really amping up, y'all. <laughs> Yes, 
Y'all, it's been a day. We were just taking in the beautiful scenery that Texoma has to offer since we don't know how to catch fish. I think it's time to hit the boat ramp and uh, possibly a margarita at the Casa. All right, man, what a good time out on the lake. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this segment of the video up. I think we're gonna hit some ponds here in just a little bit. We can't leave you with nothing all day. We got one smallmouth, the bucket list fish off of Devon's list. Thank goodness for her catch because it was the only one of the day. Now let's go ahead and get on some bass this evening. Y'all, we resumed fishing the next day with Devon's dad and we started cranking on the bass. Let's go ahead and show you the footage from this second lake. Now we'll just drift on down and cast around. Got him. Yep, on oh, the same thing your dad's using. A little further out from the bank, it seems like. First one of the day on the swimmer. There we go, saucy swimmer. Guess we should put him in the live well, huh? Get our get our numbers up. <laughs> Taking out Devin's dad again for the third time. I think third time's the charm. See if we can't get a, a nice top five today. <laughs> what? Oh, oh my gosh. Golly, this big stuff just cruising right out here, like 20 feet off the... Guys, we're seeing fish about 15 feet out in front of the boat, just cruising. Look at them go. Oh, here's another. So what's happening is the trolling motor's facing this way, so this view is actually right here. So about 15 feet out, they're just cruising out deeper from the shallows. We've been seeing it consistently. Decent sized fish. I mean, that one's available, that's yours. There we go. Saucy swimmer again. Oh, that one's a little bigger. There we go. All right, that's a solid fish right there. That might be three pounds. All right, I'd get that swimmer back out. I'd get that, that's two in a row now. We're figuring them out, guys. Okay, that was closer to the boat too. I was creeping him slow for a minute and he hit a little, a little quicker or a little uh, later. Sweet, man, that's two, two and a half pounds. You guys, second fish of the morning in just about 10 minutes, I'd say. Probably got that last one about 10 minutes ago. We've been switching things up, trying to key in, and I think we found they're on the swimming step. It is uh, 7 14 a.m., guys. It's a little early for us. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. You have a bite? Yeah. Right close to the boat. Wow. Okay, so now hold it. Hold it off to your left a little bit now, like that 45, or like, like about like that. That way, if they do hit it, you can use that right hand to just drive, drive it home. We might need to just uh, go back up and drift down again because this whole, this whole side has been pretty stacked. About 20, 30 feet. Oh, I just broke off, I think. Got him. There we go. Keep him on now. Don't pump the rod, just keep cranking. Come here. Come here. Oh, Devin, all right. Okay, that's like the biggest one of the day. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Shoot. All right. We found him, we found him. I'm telling you, they're all over here. Nice. Got him. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> nice. All right, now we're all on. Devin and her dad doubling up. That's what we're talking about. Are you recording because mine's screwing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get the big camera. There we go, y'all. It took three outings and three different lakes, and Devin's dad finally got one doubling up with Devin, but he's going for something bigger. He tossed him right back in there because he's ready to get the big honchos. Let me get it. Devin's dad's a dumbass. No. He's throwing a uh, saucy swimmer, y'all, with just a weighted belly hook, probably about quarter ounce, magic shad color. Guys, first one for me in the morning. Got it on that watermelon red flake lunker log with a little one eighth out, one eighth, words are hard in the morning, guys. One eighth ounce Wu Tungsten uh, bullet weight, just for a little bit of a slow fall. I was trying a weightless Texas rig and it was just not falling fast enough. I am not that patient, especially in the morning time. So getting it done, let's get him in the live well because why not and get some more. But I'm gonna switch it up and I'm gonna throw something I haven't thrown in a while because Citizen's been getting a lot of air time. Y'all, it's been a minute, but I'm feeling pretty good. So I'm gonna put up the Citizen, the big bait that's been killing it for us lately, and I'm gonna get the Mega Bass Garuda out. We're feeling lucky. How much is that? Like 125. Seriously? Yeah. The whole reason of having all these rods is to have them rigged up with different things. So yep. You can swap, 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 swap. Yep, you swap. see what they're in the mood. Yeah, I mean, you. sometimes they're going after the bottom stuff, sometimes they're going after a certain color. Certain rods are supposed to pair with certain techniques. Um, what you have is more of like an all-purpose though. You've got a good like length and, and sensitivity for everything. But you can, oh, what was that out there? Yeah. 
Y'all having any luck? Yeah, we just been rocking the swim bait and the, the Sanko. Been getting it done. Yeah. Hey guys, look. I caught a fish. Not on camera. Imagine that. They're still biting. Made our way across the other side of the pond. Uh, it's a little calmer over here. As you can tell, the water is definitely not nearly as windy, but all right, let's get back on them. Oh God, oh, I was checking my watch. I don't even know if this is bad. First one on the chatterbait today, guys. Wow. Is he okay? Is this even a fish? <laughs> he's just what? twirling on in here. Golly, he smoked that thing. All right, well, we found him. <laughs> We're back on him. That's a good one, he's going in the well. Okay, guys, first one on the chatterbait today. Oh, golly. That's the uh, jackhammer right there. It was a color match blade. It's a little faded now. Uh, decent weight. This is 3 8 ounce, and it looks like I need a new saucy swimmer after uh, ripping through that grass a lot. So let's go ahead and get one on here. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, he's okay. He's okay. He's okay. Oh, he's, uh, he's not bad, actually. Come here. Where are you going? Where are you going? That's funny. Look, this is feeding, feeding up. That's funny. I, uh, I was doing something. What was I even doing? You're talking about switching it to the down mode. Yeah, I was like thinking, oh, well, I could probably go ahead and switch it right now. But oh wait, let me go ahead and reel this back in. And uh, good thing I did. Yeah, they're hitting it like when the baits are falling. I think. I think so. Yeah, probably just toss this guy back. All right, Frank, we're gonna let you go. We're gonna let you grow up to be a big old double digit one day. <laughs> go be a double digit. Slow roll. Oh, the chatterbait just letting it fall. I think I, I think one just kind of grabbed it as it fell. Got him. Right there on the grass edge. Yeah, he's swimming right towards us. Just use that momentum. All right. There we go. Fish number... I don't know. We're getting them though. This guy was the first one that came out of the reed edge. Well, Devin's might have got one shallow, but chatterbait doing it again. Just kind of letting it fall. Nice one, guys. We are raking them up on day two. See ya. Oh, God. I saw him come up and grab it. <laughs> oh, God. Land, we'll see ya. Running low on the saucy swimmers, y'all. So I'm gonna preserve a couple and use this exo, this biospawn exo swim. I've got a little uh, shad flashiness, little extra length on this guy right here. I'm thinking this might be the ticket to a big one. Uh, that'll do it. Oh, they're just Texas rig plane. Yeah, they're, they're, they're small. There we go. Speaking of, oh wow, the chatterbait. Oh, this might be a good one. I put on that bigger trailer. I don't know, I don't know if he's big or not. Oh, he's just okay. There we go. That'd be another one for the live wolf. We swap it out, but he's skinny. Oh, skinny. Whoa. Why is he so skinny? Oh, spawn feeding up. Good Got some decent length. Oh, we can use the board. 17. Yeah, where's my board? Where's it's board? down in there. <laughs> Give me the board. <laughs> First time using the working class zero board, just because I thought of it. I remembered. All right, little Velcro. We're just testing it out for when we get the big 25 inches. Here we go. Check us out, y'all. Well, if I can get this to work. Oh yeah, Pursuit of Giants. I bet you it's a solid 12. See you next time.
All right, y'all, it took us two days, two lakes, but we finally got on some good fish. I'm glad you guys stuck around till the end of this one. We got on some decent numbers today. We got five in the live well to let go, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit you guys with a little bit of a recap of these two days' adventures back at the house. Recap on the tech some of it. We had a lot of fun with Scott, Devin's father, and of course Devin pulling in her first ever smallmouth. Then we really raked them up the next morning at another local spot. We had a blast, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one. We are letting the pups out, feeding them because it is the evening time, y'all. We got to get ready for tomorrow's adventures. Be looking out because Devin caught another giant tonight. Thanks and for watching my channel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna retire, I guess. Anyways, her catch is coming up like probably in tomorrow's video the next day. Be looking out. See ya. Oh! <gasps>